optimize your bio. This sounds like a basic step, but to be honest, the majority of companies and people do not do this the right way. And these are the tips I would like to share with you because they have been working for me and my clients. First, change your profile to creator or business profile. By changing these settings, you will get a lot of more information about your audience and what is the best time to post so you can get more engagement. Facebook and Instagram will provide that for free. Your photo. I have tried many things. However, faces, photos, photos with a lot of colors, enigmatic blues or yellows work better. I know many artists and brands prefer just a minimalist logo, but it makes the difference to have a face as your profile photo. What to write on your text? Okay, who are you? What are you doing here? Why are you on Instagram? Have a clear message on the 150 characters. For example, if you own other Instagram accounts, don't forget to tag them there. If you are all about nail art or coffee or house music, put a hashtag that is relevant for you. Tell your audience or future audience what you do. Adding a hashtag will get the attention of people that have the same interests than you. If you have an open business, a local business, don't forget to put opening and closing times, phone number and the address. Next, your number of followers should be greater than the number of people you are following. And you ask why? Because first off, it looks bad. People actually look at that. Second of all, it makes your account look like a spam account. A lot of people follow other people expecting them to follow back. Don't do that. You can have the same interaction or even better if you go to their profile and, and really create a deep connections through comments, messaging, likes. I'm getting ahead now, but I will be speaking about this in a couple of minutes. But the thing now is don't follow more people. You will really close your algorithm. Use your bio for call to action. You see, we don't know if Instagram will at any moment disappear and we want to convert our audience here to our email list. This is a really crazy world, so you need to prepare yourself. And how you do this? You are going to create an offer, a PDF, a music, uh, how to do um, something Then you can offer digital products. Use that offer in exchange for their email address. So you can, after, go back and do email marketing. Again, people don't click on your bio. If you don't say for them, click on my bio. It's really important to write that down. Usually, you can only drop one link on your bio. But let's say then you want to showcase a lot of different ones leading to different places. You can create using many different websites, a, a small website, a micro website where you can showcase different things. Offer music, offer videos, show your other social medias, and then pick up that link and use the service named Bitly, where you will short your link, make you look more cool. Bitly is a free website and it will give you insights about where people are coming from or where did they click, etc. Basically, they give you a lot of insights, which is amazing and important to keep doing this. Like I like to say, knowledge is power.